like a complete turnaround because we were my freshman year we were four and eight and you know there was no buzz about football at all and now it's like now it's like people are, are, are saying like we're a football school now the secondary is all like very close we all push each other to get better whether it's extra doing extra work like extra hills extra footwork Bad, bad. So we don't have foot. Get hips. I want to be great. Let's go. We're all looking to improve on the season, and we want to be consistent. We all feel like we can be one of the best secondaries in, in the country. More downhill, go more downhill. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Brittany is basically the person who makes sure everything that has to do with academics is on top, on point. Make sure nobody fall back too behind, and she just stay on top of us. So my primary role is tracking and monitoring continuing eligibility for, I'm specifically the freshmen, but I obviously work as a help for the entire team, making sure they're pro progressing towards their degrees. Scroll down. Yeah, there's still another extra credit opportunity, yeah. so it might be okay. I so feel like I can't put in these grades yet, because I remember doing like... So what week is this? Days. Is this a post week or a response week? Uh, response week. Uh, honestly, like the support is everything, because... Like even a regular student, a regular college student, they can get a lot of stress on them just over work. We have football, 
we watch a film all day, we practicing, we working hard. So you just gotta know how to balance that. And then you need people help like Brittany and Salatha to make sure you're on top of that. Cause like, you gonna need the support, it's not easy. And you're not gonna wanna wake up and do it every day. It's a grind though. <laughs> Um, the philosophy here is um, really intense support freshman year to kind of just bridge that gap, whatever they got, didn't get, whatever that is, bridge the gap from high school to Syracuse, and then hopefully they're in a position to move forward positively academically. Here we go, break it down, let's go. Break it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Scoop, scoop, scoop it up. Yes, sir. You got to go after it. Go after it. Let's go! 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 let us go Family on three, one, two, three, family! family. Pretty much once you become a college athlete, college football player, any of, any of the sports, you're pretty much at work all the time and uh, your, your sport is your job. So if you're not in class, you're not at school, uh, you get a little bit of time to hang out with friends, but everything else is based off of that sport and getting to know your opponent, getting to know yourself a little bit more. So when we do have those breaks to get our mind away from what we're here for, it's, it's nice to be able to find some type of release or something that can still your mind away. And for me, that's poetry. It comes easy, it comes natural, it just flows out. I'll be riding in the car, just listening to music. There'll be a break in the song and it just kind of starts flowing in my head. It's just something that's fun, something that's easy to do. Release, release all that extra emotion. Usually on the field, my release of emotion is a little bit, a little bit of release of some aggression, some anger or something like that. So I get to the poems, it lets me release all that extra emotion that's not that aggressive. The sun was out, it was a beautiful day. And uh, then it made me think about this girl's name, Lemonia, which is Greek for lemon tree. So it kind of made me think about like, you know, the nature that was around me and everything. And I just started, just started writing lines and came up with this, uh, this poem right here. On an oddly sunny day, I couldn't help but stare as the branches stretched and stepped down the hall. Unlike most lemons, the lemons on this tree are unusually sweet and the bark soft and smooth. Although sweet, a kiss would still make one pucker. I'm only vaguely familiar with this tree, but I already think I love her. So I have three brothers and a sister, and I love it. We all live with my mom. They've helped me a lot, well, especially like with my faith, like keeping God um, first in my life. That's helped me with football because you have, always have something to lean on and, you know, and give me advice. Since I'm the youngest, it's like I have multiple people to look up to, so that's played a huge part. So my brother, Obi, yeah, he's on the Patriots. He's inspired me a lot because he's my older brother, so obviously I look up to him. So when he, um, 2017, when he got drafted originally to the Raiders, when he got drafted, it kind of just motivated me that much more. He's always giving me tips and like things to look out for, extra things to work on. I actually went to the Super Bowl in Atlanta and that was a crazy experience. And after they won, we actually got onto the field. They let us on and it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy experience. And we, um, we actually, I got to touch the trophy and everything and see all the players. It, that, it was just crazy, it was crazy. <laughs> So when I got here, people really paid a lot of attention to basketball and a lot of attention to lacrosse. And that was something that bothered me, but not in the way that kind of you would assume. It wasn't that it bothered me in the aspect of, I wanted everybody to understand that this is a football school. It bothered me in the aspect that like, you know, we're all one team. Football, basketball, lacrosse, soccer, field hockey, hockey, volleyball, everybody. This is all one team. We're all representing the same colors. And it bothered me that people were so down on us as if we weren't a part of the same team. I think we've done a hell of a job of turning that around. 
and you can feel it in the dome. You can, you can see it when we walk through campus and people are excited to, to cheer for football. I'm excited about it. The blueprint's been laid out. All we gotta do is just keep following the plan and uh, outwork, outwork the guys that we're going up against. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, whether we're more talented or not is another story, but when it comes to that fourth quarter, it usually comes down to if it's a closed game, who wants to work harder? Who's not gonna quit? Who's gonna keep going? And so all zeros hit the board. Pressure got oh. there anyway. That's Kendall Coleman. Just oh. overwhelmed the offensive line. On third down and ten, they sent three back, and that's all they need. Kendall Coleman. <laughs> a complete beat down over there. Year four, senior campaign, save the best for last. Don't miss out. Day one, in the books. We're back out here tomorrow. Cool. Hold on now. Hold on now. You in this tub. All right. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Boy, I don't see you run head first into somebody else. You talking about you scared of the cold tub. I'm going to die. Don't even come over here. Ooh. Frostbite. I ain't never been in the cold tub. Hey, this is a cool kid's tub. This is a cool kid's tub. Talk to him. Let him know. Hey, how long y'all boy for the beat? I'll be with Footwork King and all that. 20 more minutes. By yourself. Oh, yeah. I still don't even remember what I was thinking after scoring and celebrating with my teammates. I just remember running to the sideline. I couldn't even describe the feeling. Every single time before practice, when you look at the dome, we're going to make it there someday.